Sorry, I didn't uh, start from the beginning, but here we have a 2006 Harley Ultra Classic installing a amplifier for a friend. We got the sound digital. And uh, yeah, man, it's, it's a little bit of a process, but it ain't too hard to do. You start by taking the, these three screws out. Then you pull your windshield out. Put this screw back. Just finger tight this screw in there. Then you come around. And then if you look up in, you have two Torex screws up in here on the bottom. One on each side. And then get those out. And then cover the front fender so you don't scratch it. But you uh, pull this screw back out. You put this one in so it doesn't fall on you or anything. And then you unplug your headlight. And there's the fairing, the windshield. But uh, we're getting ready to run OFC 8-gauge wire. That's all that. It's an 800.42 ohm sound digital best on the market as far as motorcycles amplifiers look how small that thing is and it produces way more power than most of the big boys and uh we're attempting that we took the gas tank screws out it's so we could run the amp wire it's in wire loom and fuse our put our fuse in and we're going to put the fuse like right there it's a motorcycle and something happens, It'll you, you want to have the fuse as close as to the positive terminal as you can possibly have it. So in case it shorts out, you're safe. But, uh, all right, man, I wish I had someone here to hold the camera so I could do it. So I don't think I'm going to be able to pause this i don't know how to pause videos or nothing uh, so um we're going to run it i need to get my uh, i'm probably going to lose followers after uh subscribers after this so, okay, let's find ourselves an access point. I just need to come up. Alright, so we go. So, what I need to do. trusty wire snake but we are going to unhook the positive terminal Phillips boy he's lucky that thing was finger tight
you got to do sometimes, take a rag, a rubber glove, anything to make sure you're isolated and the hot don't accidentally come down and touch and you don't know it. And there you go, you're shorted out. <laughs> so, we are going to attempt to run a wire snake. Well, you know, copper wire through and uh, hopefully eliminate not having to take the damn gas tank off. And uh, forgive me for my videos. Like I said, man, I, I'm trying. I haven't posted no videos or anything for a while. I really am trying, but here we go. some right there so oh, uh, uh, uh. I'd like to go inside the frame Mind you, I have all the power on Hulk, so I'm good. Bam! I mean, I'll get it up in there. I'll zip tie it to the... Yeah. Not going to move it with hose right in there, so... Good, good, good. Got a lot of leftovers. Okay, let me get the fuse. Here is a, a use install bag. You want to open it up. take this end off don't lose none of this this is where your fuse goes and connects in between and you got a little rubber grommet in there and uh, you want to put that on the so Sorry, you want to stick that on there. Oh, dumb. Put that on there. Then you take that, like that, and boom. When you tighten it all up, it will have a watertight seal. And you'd be like, you be downtown. You know what I'm saying, though, right? I'm saying what I'm saying, yo. I'm probably all out of camera focus and shit. So, I don't want to hook nothing up here yet. Because I want to transfer in or something. So, that go like that. I'm j I was just showing you, it's for real. And, uh, you want to come through. See, they have a, a hole here already. And I don't think it's crowded. That's what you don't want to do. It's crowd one individual's 
spot. And uh, looks like they already just done that. Bikes are always, I mean, I've seen a lot of people just throw them together. So I can get right through here like that. Cool. Little bubble tie right there. Just want to make sure I have enough. This ain't gonna look like this when I'm done. Copper loppers. Boom. Now I'll make a pigtail out of that. I'll put a wire lug on this one and I'll put the, the part that goes to the fuse holder on this one. Favorite pool. Boom, boom. Take that bad boy and take it about the two. Right there. Voila. Take some wire lugs. In this case, we will use uh, 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 we will use a SC66. So. 
so. I'm going to mark it. So, right there. Boom. It's good having a belly for a reason. Boom. 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 Was I in, out of camera? I was, wasn't I? I'm sorry, people. Please don't unfollow me because I'm challenged. <laughs> so, we'll put that in there like that. Sit that old girl down in the bottom one like that and push your wire in while you're crimping it. <sighs> that old girl ain't going nowhere. Then you want to take heat shrimp. Hold on. Small. Come on. Make me look bad. Come on. Boom. Boom. Come on. One more time. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. You want, you gotta have heat shrink, man. You gotta have it. You can use tape, but it, you know, if you're gonna do stuff and get paid for it, you sure don't want them to <sighs> see electrical tape under their uh, $20,000 or whatever $1,000 Harley Davidson. You know what I mean? Almost got it. Oh, damn. Okay, see how I got her right there? Boom, boom, bada boom, bada bing. Let me get my heat gun out. We'll return. Okay, we're Boom. Look at that. Look at that. Ridiculous. 
I have another one here, but this is 4 gauge. I thought I stuck that thing right in here. What the heck did I do with it? Are you kidding me right now? Where should I put that at? Oh, lose the damn line if it wasn't attached. Found it. Okay, so now we're going to assemble this. So you put this in first. Oh, like that. Put that in. The rubber grommet. Boom. You got to. I have the Allen wrench. Hold on. I think I do. Bear with me. Oh. Jeez. I know you should probably be like, <clears throat> what the hell's wrong with this dude? But you know what? I don't have an answer for that. I don't know. A lot of people try to figure out what the hell's wrong with that. And you know what? No success. But, Found it. You want to take this screw out. This Allen screw here. Oh, don't lose it. And there's this fitting. You want to keep that fitting. Hold on. Let me put this down. I'm going to show you. So, you want to take your wire and right behind the P, and, and you want it to just come past that like a little bit. So you can wrap the wire, I'll show you, around the end. I'll show you. Hold on. So, was it the P? Gonna take it like that. Fish the wire through. And then, well, I should have did a little more. Hold on. A little bit. Get it up. Let me set this down. One thing at a time. And you want to take this wire like this, like that. There you go. Open it up, like so. And then this is the part that goes back in that case. I'll show you back here in a minute. And then you push it in, force it a little bit, maybe. Maybe I got a little bit too. Sometimes they're tight. And uh, sometimes you got to use pliers <coughs> or something to uh, help it out. You know what? I might have a little bit too much in there. I might have did it a little too far, people. It's just going to fall off. Yes. Forgive me. Like I said, I'm just, I'm trying these videos out. I'm going to try to get better. I promise y'all. I need to be prepared. <sighs> I do have a little bit too much, so sorry guys. I have a little bit too much of wire hanging out. So that's not a big deal. Let's 
Take your copper loppers. Take your copper loppers. And uh, if you can, trim it. Like that, get it in there, and then locate the piece you just lost. And then take another attempt at it. Boom, goes right in, see? See, uh-huh. I'm a fart smeller. I mean, a smart feller, sometimes. Why are you giving me such a hard time on camera, huh? Why, girl? Why? You know what? I gotta trim a little more. I still had too much in there. There we go. So it goes in like that. The reason they have that fitting because you can, this is eight gauge. If you take and eliminate that fitting, you can use four gauge. But ground digital doesn't that amplifier requires eight. So and this is a motorcycle. We're not running eight fifteens or two twelves or nothing. So this is plenty, plenty, plenty enough um, for the application that we're doing. If you put the screw in and tighten it. It's really good. Boom. So, take the screw like so. Nice and tight. Boom. Sealed. So, you take that and you put it back for now. Because there's only, there's a slot <clears throat> that these are only fit through. Like, it only goes in one way. And you put it in there. When you tighten it, it's, it's sealed. It's watertight. And then the other end is where we're going to take the, the amp that's going up to the radio. That's where this will tie in. This, I mean, this end will tie in. So I've explained that to you. So go ahead and we're just going to proceed to get this cut down and put it. So I'm going to make sure that I need some. I have trigger finger too, so my hands don't work as good. Sometimes. Oh. I'm going to take that in. Put it in there for now. Don't worry, there's no fuel, so we're good. You 
know what? I have a lot of wire up there. I'm, I'm gonna steal a little bit of that wire. I'm gonna come across this. And I am going to mount it down here. Like that. See, that looks professional. battery up so we're gonna go up front and we're gonna leave this alone and we are going to work on the ground okay so I don't even have a good camera equipment this sucks So we're gonna work on the ground. I'm gonna try to press this right along. I don't know if you get tired of watching, just shut it down, I guess. So I appreciate y'all. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the slab out there. We're gonna get our copper loggers and our strippers and our stuff and, and uh Some copper. Boom. Goes your positive. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You want to take some wire loam. And run your amp wire through it. For one, it'll hide the red wire. And safety always, there's never, I mean, you always want to have as much safety as you can. Our positives in. So next, we're going to run our ground. But I see a ground. See what I'll do is I'll pull enough through. And uh work cut off what I don't need. Much. 
trying to get the where you want to watch your frame like the wire will fray and you won't see it in a short out you do not want that for po show okay there's our ground remote boom look at this just enough bam some downtown goes brown sandals son you know what i'm saying a lot of people doesn't agree with what I do and how I do it, but I do it and I do it right. And I'm doing it and I'm doing it well. Doing it well. You take this like that. So this is real thin wire. And then you like that. And you stick it over here out of there. it all up. And, and it, it, when you tighten these on a lot of these amps nowadays, they have, uh, it'll pull the wire in. It, it's designed to do that. To pull it in and tighten. Like, pull it in toward the, the, con the place where it needs to make contact. Okay, hot ground remote. It's done. So, all I need to do is I need to tie into the speakers, the front speakers, and this customer has rain his own, he, there's a volume control on the back of these bikes. And it's all eliminated. He direct wired it himself. And I'll, um, I have the wires up here what he used. So, actually be able to uh, eliminate the, the Harley Davidson wiring. I don't need it once because I'm already tied into the outputs, the low level outputs. Ooh. Hey, there goes my tool. But anywho, all of our power and that's ran. I'm sorry, it's just the basics now. I have a phone I'm recording with. As soon as I reach a point to where I'm able to get more equipment and figure stuff out, I will do better videos. Please hit that like button, subscribe, help me out. I, I'm, I'm trying to get better at this, and I appreciate all y'all that's following me now. The subscribers I have now, I appreciate y'all. And uh, y'all have a good night. Stay uh, like and follow for part two, the speakers. And then there'll be a part three for the sound. Have a good night.